Hi there, Lisa Arana here and welcome to another Assemble This video. Today's cards are all about creating a super easy card set using one stamp set and one pack of paper. I am all about quick and easy cards and when you have a beautiful stamp set like the brand new Hope is a Beautiful Thing sentiment kit, it just makes creating cards super easy. I'm pairing that with the Rustic Wood Unity Papers and the combo just creates a beautiful set of cards with minimal effort and minimal supplies, which is straight up my alley and I, this is just how I love to create. It's my favorite. I have all my supplies ready to go, so let's get started with card number one. So I'm using some craft paper to pair with that rustic wood pattern paper. I just took the, the main featured image in the stamp set and I stamped it three times on my craft paper and then die cut it out with a stitched rectangular die. I'm creating basically a, a pattern background. It really features that beautiful butterfly floral image and just creates a, something beautiful for your eye to look at. That was just stamped with black ink. I'm going to add some foam adhesive to the back here and then pop it up on my card front. I also stamped a matching sentiment on the same craft paper and then just trimming it down and creating a banner end on one, one side just with my scissors and then I think I'll pop it up in the bottom corner here. I like the placement. Just going to trim that down with my scissors and then just to add a little bit more color and shine and interest, I'm using some washi tape from my stash. You could use pattern paper. You could use um, whatever washi you have that matches your pattern paper that you're going to be using. And I'm just layering up two different types. Again, it just adds a little bit more interest to the card, something more for your eye to look at. And then I'm going to pop my sentiment up on top with some more foam adhesive, line it up with the edge of the card, and that completes card number one. So for card number two, I have my image stamped directly in the center, kind of wonky on that craft paper. And then I also stamped two sentiments in the corner there and then die cut it out with a, another stitch rectangular die. I have some more of that wood, rustic wood pattern paper on my card front. And then I'm just going to tie some string to the front, just create a bow. Super easy. This is my favorite, favorite, I don't know, ribbon element. I use this all the time. I love this burlap string. I'm just going to fiddle with my bow a little bit just to get it the size that I want and then trim the tails a little bit. Still fiddling. Feel like you can never fiddle with your ribbon enough. And now that I have it about the size I want, I'm going to kind of see how my panel looks behind that ribbon. I like that, so I'm going to add some foam adhesive, slide it in and under that, that string, and then tack it down. And then I'll play with my bow just one more time just to make sure it looks perfect. Trim my ends off. And now all I want to do is is add a little bit of Nouveau crystal drops. Just going to add some drops to the front of the card in a set of three. And then make sure you set this aside to dry completely. You don't want to smear it. Um, they are sensitive so I tend to move my cards around too early and I didn't let these dry enough so I kind of smeared them a little bit. But that was card number two. And let's move on to our third and final card. Again, I stamped that main image on some craft cardstock with my sentiment right above it, and then cut that out with, or die cut that out with the same rectangular stitch die. 
and I'm layering again some more of that rustic wood pattern paper. I just love it. I think the different colors and the layering and the textures of those papers are just beautiful. Tying some more string around that orange kind of wood look paper and I'm going to glue that down straight onto my card front at a wonky angle. I just love the way wonkiness looks. <laughs> I don't know, there's just something about the the angles that is pleasing to my eye. So once I have that down, I'm going to glue my panel, my stamped panel down with some foam adhesive, kind of at an angle again, and then fiddle with my string, make sure my bow is the size that I like, and then I'll trim down the tails at the end here. So to finish this one off, I'm going to add some sequins. They're just gold sequins. I'm using some glossy accents and my jewel picker-upper pencil and just gluing those down. I love the shine and a little bit of movement that the sequins add. And that's card number three. So here's our, a look at our first card again. I love how the, the image just creates almost like a pattern paper when you stamp it three times in the background. And then just a little bit of accent from that washi tape helps pop the, the sentiment up. Our second card has the Nouveau Drops and that beautiful stamped image and sentiment in black ink. And it just really pops against the wood pattern paper again. And then our third card, again, just simple stamping in black on craft cardstock, just pops against those pattern papers. And the little bit of string and sequins just adds the perfect touch. Just makes for uh, something extra special. So here we have our three cards. One pattern paper pack and one stamp set creates a beautiful set of cards. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I'll have the supplies listed in the description of this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any questions or a sweet comment, post below. I love to read each and every one. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!